Peace, peace, peace. It's Ziggy the King. Back at you with another video. Here I am. Um, last week, last week, I officially uh, finished up my my last fruit detox. I went about 26 days on nothing but fruit. And last Saturday, I did a... Um, I started eating cooked foods a few days before that. I had got a, um, one of those um, uh, vegetable spiraler things, and I was like, you know, making, making, uh, making like zucchini and cucumber noodles, and making like raw meals because I, you know, I, I just I decided to move forward from my fruit, move from my grapes, even though, you know, I talked about how I love grapes, and I could go even further if I wanted to, and I really do believe that I could, I could have, and evidently, um, you know, of course, when you do, when me doing something like that, just like the last one, and I talked about my 90-day fruit detox, I felt like I could have went, could have kept going, and I was healing. And so, you know, I had that same type of feeling. Like, wow, I get that same type type of feeling coming a few days uh, removed from getting off of quick. It's like I could have kept going, or I could have at least stayed on the fruits, but I didn't. And then I went, and you know, I guess I wanted some more you know, socially and, you know, try to, because I'm, I just ordered me a Nama juicer and I've never done a juice fast at all, ever, like an extended juice fast. So I went and got me a $500 juicer and um, I'm like, well, if I get this thing, man, not only is it top of the line, you know, it's easy to clean and easy to use and everything. So I'm like, okay, I got this thing. So I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna go in the very near future, in the future from now, because I haven't started yet. I haven't even taken out the box. That um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know do me an extended juice fast. So I'm thinking in my head like. One of my friends that I follow on Facebook, that I'm friends on Facebook with Faith Finds Fruits, she did a 15 day uh, citrus juice fast. I think she did like lemon juice. And and then there was someone else that I communicated with uh, that's um, studied under Dr. Morris. She's done a, um, she's done a, a 30 day juice, uh, lemon juice fast. So I'm like, I wanna, I wanna do me, uh, at least 15 days on citrus, mainly like lemons and, uh, key limes and all that. So it may be next week, maybe two weeks from now, maybe three weeks from now. But all that's out the window with the fruits right for right now. And I've been eating a lot of cooked meals. But, it sounds like I'll be making excuses for me giving in to my temptation. Maybe it is, but I gave in to that. Um, after about over four months, getting back into cooked foods, and you know when you're eating cooked foods, um, you know with a lot of times you're eating uh, different vegan meals with a lot of different seasonings. A lot of times you're not really too conscious uh you're not really thinking about okay what's the season with and all that you know even though it's v um but um i'm still a little more conscious of what i'm eating and what i what i decided i'm gonna stay away from and, and um but um me kind of like um being a looser with like my dietary restrictions at the time even though I'm still staying, staying plant-based, I'm still 
you know, is not. It's definitely not the same thing as eating eating only grapes for for months and months and months. And let me say, I'm extremely proud of that. Not in an arrogant way, but I'm proud of that in a way that there's something that for someone who has never done a mono food diet for in probably any amount of time at all, you know, where I'm just eating one thing. To go from that to eating nothing, almost nothing but grapes. Like I said, I've had uh, watermelon, you know, from uh, all the way up to maybe like, you know, uh, maybe like very early November. But up to that, it was nothing, nothing but grapes. But from going from from something like eating cooked meals, going back to going to just eating one fruit for four months, I feel like it's a great accomplishment. You know, going from a one just sweet watery fruit detox to to going to um this grape fest, and then, you know, hopefully either my next thing may be a water fast or um, a citrus fruit fast. So I think that's going to be my next big challenge. And if you know me, I wish that I got into more, I'd do more videos when I was on the first fast, like uh, back over the summer. But I think that part of my journey was more about motivation. And I know some of you have seen me uh, go on other people's platforms over the past couple of weeks and talk about my journey. But I think my first um, sweet watery fruit uh, detox was more about motivating. And... Um, me uh, trying to reach and watch videos and getting inspired from other people, uh, people's platforms like Nicole Rache and um, and, and Sky Conway and Jillian Barry and Bobby Smith and, you know, people like that that's like uh, championing the, the fruits and Championing, championing the raw diets, and championing, championing, um, like going on detoxes, detoxes, um, just getting motivation. I think you know I probably maybe did like one video uh, about that, and it might have been after one video about that. Uh, after I finished, I've spoken on it since, but I don't think I actually was really doing videos about it in, in real time, like I was able to do with the last fast. And I think this, um, my next one, I think to get back to my last point, I don't want, um, me getting more looser in my, in my, in my dietary, restrictions and like um going back and going to this uh vegan spot you know hanging with my brother or this person or that person you know for no social reasons i mean not social reasons but you know uh not like not like that's the sole reason but just to be able to uh okay i can social i can bond with this person in that way, let's go out to eat and eat more of something more plant based from from their perspective. Um, like I said, I could easily have kept going uh, with the grapes, but now I got this juicer that I haven't even taken it out of the box, and it looks like a very big box. But um, I think me, me um, going way away from that. I think it'll make me to go even more extreme with this next detox. And based on people from like uh, 
Faith Fund, Fuchs, and other people like that. Um, I think um, it it's, it's motivates me. It not motivates me, but because I know I've stepped so far away from that in the past week, when I do uh, get back, when I do get onto this lemon detox or this water detox, because my water detox in particular, uh, I don't know. I've never done one before, but I don't really see myself. I don't see myself. If I do it and I jump into it, I don't see myself um, jumping back into it. I didn't see myself jumping back into uh, doing a great fast. I do now because I go, I've been going on and on in, in a lot of these videos about how I'm not tired of grapes. I just ate grapes. Um, but I think that when I, um, when I do decide to start to do, uh, go on this, uh, to just fruit, uh, fast, and then I'm not going to look back. And when I say that I'm not going to look back, I think that I'm going to see it out to do at least 15 days. And since I done spent $500 on this Nama Juicer, which, you know, if everybody's telling me this is what it, this is the truth. You're going to love it, da da da. And I've entertained the thought of a juice fast. I think if it is as easy and not as much of a hassle as some of the other, because I haven't, I haven't juiced anything since like the Jack LaLanne days. That's probably like all the way back. Probably I haven't used a juicer since probably like 2014. Maybe even maybe even before then, maybe even before I became vegan. But I had one all the way, you know, back uh, probably 2010, 2011, 2012. So now, you know, they're way more advanced. So if that's the case, I think that I'm definitely going to jump in. I got me some cups with the straw, and I, I'm ready for it. Um, um, like, I'm ready for... Uh, I'm not going to say I'm ready for the next part of my journey. I'm I'm not not ready for the next part of my journey. But I just uh, not really sure when I'm going to jump into it. It definitely won't be too long. Um, but it's something that I have to mentally prepare for. And, you know, uh, I've been going through some things personally to where, like, okay, I got to mentally brace myself. And, you know, for going through, you know, starting this uh, detox and then try to put mentally prepare my mind like, OK, I'm ready to do this and I'm going to look back. And no matter what is going on in my life right now or if whatever is going on in my life uh, just becomes more of. Uh, Something that might be more of a mental, I guess, uh, stumbling block to maybe try to block out what I'm trying to do. Then you know I gotta be prepared for that. But at the same time, I'm really excited to um, do something because, in particular, you know it's good. I bought this juicer now. And that's good. And that's all fine and great because I can use it for anything. But, you know, I've already said in my mind that I want to do this citrus juice detox. It's specifically with the lemons and the key limes. And, and do it and see it through for at least 15 days. You know, me, I mean, if I can, if I can go, if I can go over four months on grapes, then then 15 days on lemons. After the first the first couple of days, it shouldn't be an issue. And based on and based on the feedback that I've gotten from other people, those um citrus fruit detox um, um is probably uh the most intense detox uh as far as in uh ingesting anything that you can do. Mm -hmm. I perhaps um, water fast may be even more um, 
intense, especially depending on how 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 long you go with them. And then of course dry fast is even more intense than that, especially if you depending on how how um how you know how long you go with that. And that's something that you really have to build yourself up from because like I've done three day dry fast. It was a soft dry fast, like I still brushing my teeth in the shower and stuff. But um but um yeah, yeah, cause I was doing it when I was working and stuff. At the in those three days and still going to work and then and even working overtime, doing three day, you know, three weeks in a row. But so me doing for it to really, really make a difference and really, really uh as far as detoxifying and, you know, putting myself in a state of detox and healing and getting the lymphatic system going and all that, I would have to go even further than three days. Um, I think doing doing uh, 15 days on uh, uh, lemon juice fast, or even just a, just a juice fast in general, uh, that, you know, a fruit juice fast, I think, it was being extremely detoxing because you're really slowing down. I mean, you're really, really easing up on the digestive uh, process and allowing your body to heal. And I think because I have and probably still am a few more, you know, a few more days, maybe in a, in a few more weeks on cooked foods and stuff, and kind of letting my guard down, if you will, on on um, my diet. I think that uh, I think that um, I think that let him by doing that is it's gonna make me just want to go even harder when I do go in. So. Maybe I might go. Maybe I might go forty-one days, because um, I've been looking into the water fasting, and and I looked in. I actually looked into a good water company um, that delivers water and stuff like that. So I really want to focus on focus on. Uh, really want to focus on. Uh, like really, cleaning. Uh, I don't really, really want to uh, focus on putting myself in a bigger, in a, in a uh, more further in my detox, if you will. And the one thing about doing a juice fast is, you know, I won't have to do it for three months three or four months to really for you know, for me to really get put myself in a real state of detox. I think that um I think you know, even if I think even I think me doing because I've heard one lady says he did thirty and really put her on her knees. So that's music in my ears. I'd rather go through a detox and try to heal myself and go through, you know, a certain amount of days that I think didn't think that I'd be able to do and try it and then move on and try something else. And then, you know, it's February now, but, you know, in about two more months it'll be watermelon season. So I'll probably be doing be doing another long extended fruit fast. Uh, in in April or May, and on from there. So I don't want to say to you, like, comment, subscribe to Ziggy the Iron King, and stay tuned to what I got going on in the very near future.